Hi guys, it's Otto here from Tornal.com and today I'm going to show you how to reset the Sonfi 40 IO solar motor um, and I'm going to do that with the help of a small screwdriver uh, you can use a paper clip as well or anything pointy that allows you to press the program button on the back of the remote um, and that's something you need as well you can use a single or a multi-channel remote I'm using the Citro 5 IO here but you can use any IO remote to do that as long as it has an up and a down button now what else do I need? I need to have a motor that's connected to the battery. Here I'm using a battery with an extension cord because that's just easier for me with a fixed camera. Uh, but normally you'd find a battery inside of the housing of the roller shutter or somewhere close to the motor. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do, and for you that's uh, something you need to locate, is find a battery um, and then find the connector clips. And I'm going to disconnect the connector for three seconds. So I'm taking it out. One, two, three. Then I'm going to plug it back in for about eight seconds. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Disconnect them again for three seconds. One, two, three. And plug them back in. And as you can see, um, the shade has started moving. Now it can either move, and then you need to wait until it stops moving, or it's going to give you a small jog. That's good as well. So either option is fine. One thing you need to uh, make sure of is that you keep the motor rolling and that you don't stop it. Um, otherwise, you need to restart. There's one reason to stop it, even if it's going to mean that you re need to restart. And that's when uh, there's a danger of um, damage to the rotor shutter or the shade. If it retracts too much, for example, um, then you need to stop it and just start over again. Then you position in the middle and then start the reset procedure. Now, I've had my, uh, my small run uh, with, from the motor, so I can start the next phase of the program procedure. And that's taking the remote, selecting a channel if you need to. Um, here I have channel one, or if you have a single channel remote, you just press the button on the back, which is a program button. You keep holding it for about 10 seconds, and you're gonna have two jogs. And that's the first one. The important thing is to keep holding the button um, until you get the second jog, and that will be about seven, eight seconds. And there it was. And now we can release them. Um, and that means that the remote control is no longer working and the reset procedure is complete. So that's it. You have a free, free, a free sequence of connecting and disconnecting the power. And after that, after you've had a response from the motor, either a jog or a movement, then you can press the program button on the back of the remote and keep holding that for about two, 10 seconds or until you've had two jogs. That's it. If you have any questions about this, about solar IO or something else, do let me know. The email address is info at For now, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one.